animals belonging from phylum porifera to phylum echinodermata are categorized as non-chordates. Non-chordates are animals without a notochord. Let's take a look at the important characteristic features of the phylum porifera to the phylum Ascalmanthes. The first phylum under non-chordates is porifera. The members of this phylum are known as sponges. These are primitive, multicellular, asymmetrical, marine animals with cellular level of organization. The body of sponges is supported by a skeleton made up of spicules or spongin fibers. Sponges have a water transport or canal system which helps in food gathering, respiratory exchange and waste removal. In this system, water enters through minute pores called the ostia into a central cavity called the sponge seal and comes out through the osculum. The sponge seal and the canals are lined with special cells called coenocytes or collar cells that help in the ingestion of food particles followed by intracellular digestion. Sponges are hermaphrodite and they reproduce asexually by fragmentation as well as sexually by formation of gametes. In sponges, fertilization is internal with indirect development. Sycon, spongula and euplectula are some common examples of sponges. The second phylum is Coelenterata. The members of this phylum are aquatic, mostly marine, sessile or free swimming, radially symmetrical, dipoblastic animals with tissue level of organization. Some Coelenterates, like corals, have a skeletal structure made of calcium carbonate. Coelenterates have nidoblasts on their tentacles and body, and hence this phylum is also known as Cnidaria. Nidoblasts are used for anchorage, defense, and to capture prey. Coelenterates have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening called the hypostome. Digestion in them is both extracellular and intracellular. Coelenterates exhibit two basic body forms, polyp and medusa. Polyp is a sessile and cylindrical form like hydra and adamsia, while medusa is umbrella shaped and free swimming like aurelia. Some coelenterates like ubelia exist in both forms and exhibit alternation of generation. Polyps produce medusae asexually and the medusae form polyps sexually. This phenomenon is called metagenesis. Some common coelenterates are Physalia, Penatula, Gorgonia and Meandrina. The next phylum is Tenophora. Tenophores are commonly known as sea walnuts or comb jellies. These animals are marine, radially symmetrical, dipoblastic with tissue level of organization. They have eight external rows of ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion. Digestion in these animals is both extracellular and intracellular. A characteristic feature of tenophores is bioluminescence or the ability to emit light. Tenophores are hermaphrodite and exhibit sexual reproduction. In these animals, 
fertilization is external with indirect development. Pleurobrachia and tenoplana are some common tenophores. The next phylum is platyhelminthes. These animals have a dorsoventrally flattened body and are therefore called flatworms. They are bilaterally symmetrical, tripoblastic, acelomate animals with organ level of organization. Flatworms are mostly endoparasites found in the digestive system of animals, including humans. The parasitic members possess hooks and suckers, and some of them use the surface of their body to absorb nutrients directly from the host. Flatworms have specialized cells called flame cells, which help in osmoregulation and excretion. The members are hermaphrodite. Fertilization is internal and development is through many larval stages. Some members like planaria possess high regeneration capacity. Tinea and fasciola are some common flat worms. The next phylum under non-chordates is Ascalmanthes. Unlike flatworms, these animals have a circular body when seen in cross-section and hence are called roundworms. They may be aquatic or terrestrial, free-living or parasitic in plants and animals. They are bilaterally symmetrical, tripoblastic, pseudocelomate animals with organ system level of body organization. In Ascalminthes, the alimentary canal is complete with a well-developed muscular pharynx. Body wastes are removed through the excretory pore. Roundworms are dioecious and the females are usually longer than the males. Fertilization is internal with direct or indirect development. Ascaris and Wuchereria are common members of this phylum. We studied how non-chordates are classified into different phyla on the basis of certain morphological and anatomical features.